The history of the U.S. Pavilion at Expo has, is one of increasing you know, insularity, opacity. So we were hoping to reverse that trend. It was really our choice to represent the Coney Island Boardwalk. You know, part of the reason for it is that we started to call the big concourse, the main floor of exhibits, we started to call it the Boardwalk, just as a reference to, to that world. The Boardwalk is an important piece of Americana, a very important piece of Americana. Luna Park, first electrified park, you know, all sorts of very important things happen there. They didn't go to a tree farm. Instead, they took our Coney Island wood. The section that they took from Milano has been repaired the past 15 years. It was brand new wood. They took that brand new wood took it apart, and sold it to other people. Stories in the Post have said that the U.S. Pavilion stole the Coney Island Boardwalk. It's not exactly the case. You know, we, we were lucky enough to be able to reuse some of the lumber. But the truth is that this landmark space, this landmark uh, element in the New York City um, you know, leisure world is being rebuilt in concrete and in plastic wood. And that's really horrifying. Since 2009, uh, we formed a group that has been active in trying to maintain, preserve, and enhance the iconic uh, Coney Island Boardwalk, which you see below you. And uh, the reason we formed was when many of us who live here locally came to know that the Parks Department had what we considered an outrageous plan to convert the entire boardwalk, which spans two and a half miles, into concrete from the wood boards that have existed here since 1923. We felt it was incumbent upon us, as people who live here, use the boardwalk, and care about our neighborhood and our city, to do what we could to maintain such an important entity. One of the reasons we used it is that it's an instantly recognizable name, even in Milan. You say, Coney, you say you're standing on a piece of the Coney Island boardwalk, and people are actually um, thrilled by that. The experience of the, of, the, of the visitor is really entering on this um, kind of red carpet, this, this, this Coney Island boardwalk carpet, this iconic material, this iconic place, you know, kind of landmark place in, in Brooklyn that was really the interface between entertainment and leisure, but most importantly, food. Unlike in Italy, in the U.S., people really socialize on the street. We don't have piazzas, we do have some parks, but essentially the street is our piazza. And, the boardwalk is a perfect embodiment of that. We came up with an idea for a building that was very open, that had people moving through it on the reclaimed Coney Island boardwalk. And it was only after we started calling it the boardwalk that it occurred to us that we might be able to find material from boardwalks that were either removed, because they do have to be replaced periodically for maintenance. What has decimated the boardwalk has been the unrestricted use of heavy vehicles, largely by the Parks Department and somewhat by the police departments out here. These heavy vehicles, including sanitation trucks, which weigh thousands of pounds, are run up and down the boardwalk daily, rumbling uh, the boards and jarring them, loosening them, and thus destroying the boardwalk. I consider the Coney Island Boardwalk to be a a city landmark and it should be rebuilt exactly as it was in hardwood in the same pattern. Right over here is concrete. Right over here is wood. When we had Hurricane Sandy there was a mile and a half of destruction down Ocean Parkway where the concrete was. It made the ocean surge go faster. It just made it woo a mile and a half down Ocean Parkway. Here, three inches. The coolness of the wood, the idea that water drains through it, the idea that it has a kind of beautiful herringbone pattern, um, that it ages gracefully, those are all really important parts of any visual experience, even the sound. The sound of walking on the boardwalk is completely different than the sound of walking on a concrete boardwalk. Our deal with the mill that cut it is that we would return it to them because we don't need it after six months. I think it'd be great if 
the, if the city reused the, the wood in some fashion. So it does have a second life, and we're, we're very happy about that. We're hoping that the Landmarks Commission will grant the Coney Island Boardwalk the landmark status that it so, so richly deserves. And through those avenues, we hope that the Coney Island Boardwalk will pre be preserved and enhanced for generations to come that, to enjoy, as uh, many of us here have. That is our hope, that's our wish, and we, the local people here, will not stop fighting until we see that happen.